right in front of the unicorn, just saying, from startup to unicorn, maybe. Uh, let's welcome our next competitor, Gives now. Coffee Up gives second life to the coffee by collecting all wasted grounds and mix it with compostable plastic to create a zero waste product. So let's welcome Svetoslav Petkov to explain us a little bit more. What does that mean? Hello, everyone. So my name is Svetoslav and I'm here to present you Coffee Up. Do you know what's the second uh, largest raw material trade in the world? Yeah, that this is coffee, yeah. <laughs> so I bet every, every one of you drinks at least one, maybe two free coffees a day. No? Well, oh, most of us. But um, nobody thinks of what he leaves behind. So I'll tell you, that, that's about 10, 15 kilos a month of waste product, which equates to about 60 million tons in whole Europe. So this is a lot of toxic waste, and that's where we come in. We collect all this... Um, ground waste from the coffee shops and we mix it with um, a new um, naturally sourced and um, um, it's naturally sourced biodegradable in soil and water material and we create plastic products which we return back to the um, beverage business and um, yeah we want to reduce the plastic waste basically. <laughs> So basically, your source raw material comes from coffee shops? So we use between 20 and 30 percent of ground coffee waste. Okay. The rest is uh, biodegradable and compostable plastic. And the supply and the supply you're getting it from the coffee shops. Yeah, we collect it from the coffee shops. Yeah. And the plastic we source it locally from Europe at the moment. Good. Um, what phase is the company? Basically, you're having first products. Yep. So we're currently in a prototype phase. We're working on our second prototype. Um, we we created this first, uh, which is um, um, just a traditional coffee cup, and then we're working on the disposable uh, cups. We think is the most product. Uh, plastic for the moment so we we are validating this we've tested it so it it works it's compostable uh, and it degrades and then the next phase is to get the patent for it uh, get the European brand and invest into the um, machinery and tooling and start producing so how, how big is the business how, how how much do you expect that you're going to make as a revenue rough so, ballpark so we've calculated if we grow to about 500 um, cafeterias and we return the product at a discounted price, which is around three lever per set of cup and um, plate, uh, we'll make about 100,000 um, lever profit in one year. And basically, the clients will be the coffee, the cafeterias back. Yeah, we return basically their waste back to them. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> a way to do it. Um, so, how much willingness do you see from the cafeterias um, to do this? So, we validated the idea with high end cafeterias, um, people that can basically afford this type of stuff because we benchmark the prices and we we're a little bit more expensive than the current uh, ceramic stuff um, so they're really keen on getting on to this green mindset um, so yeah we've pretty much validated with four or five coffee shops at the moment do, do you have this type of business across Europe um, not in the same model not in this circular model uh, we have we, we've seen companies from Germany and UK that do similar plastic products with waste material inside. Yeah. Um, um, it's a big mix of stuff in there, compostable, 
in uh, the ground. They, they're only compostable in special facilities, recycling facilities, and also our we plan our product to be also d dissolvable in seawater. And what about certification? Um, I mean, in terms of uh, being in touch with food and beverages, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. have you solved this problem? And then uh, how this cup uh, performs in the dishwasher? I mean, is it suitable for, you know, mm -hmm. constant use, et cetera? Yes. So the plastic material we source is uh, FDA approved. So. Um, we have to go through another loop of certification again, obviously because of the ingredients we put in there. Um, but we don't see any risk with this um, because we don't use any toxic materials. Um, the what was the second question? Um, in terms of uh, putting it into the dishwasher, the dishwasher etc. Yeah. So we've looked at the mechanical performance of all these materials, and we've chosen the one that performs good up to 130, 140 degrees Celsius. Um, it's something we need to test, but we it's it's hard to do it at home because you have the risk of destroying the And then why using coffee? I mean, what made you use coffee? And um, the coffee waste is huge and basically... It but produces... you can use it for many things. You can compost it, you can use it for um, to grow mushrooms, to fertilize land, whatever. Yes. Um, well, if you're fertilizing the land, you get to the point where it becomes toxic. Um, you have to do it in a certain amount. So throwing a lot of coffee waste in the, into the same um, um, waste disposal creates... Uh, no, 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 I CO2. just wonder why did you decide to mix coffee and plastic and make something out of it? I mean, how um, did you come to the idea? It's, it's basically a circular model. This is, this is where we started from. We, we want to make coffee shops uh, a bit more greener and uh, raise awareness through, through the community, throughout the community about the plastic waste and um, basically make drinking coffee a bit more waste free. Okay. And what are you looking for? Are you fundraising money right now or? Yes. Yeah, so uh, we're looking for an investment of 25,000 euros to get the patent and the European brand certification, go through our testing first testing loop and finish um, our prototypes. And then with the same investment, we're going to get the, the machines and the tooling set up so we can start approaching more um, partner space. Okay. Cheers. Thanks. So, so you think you can patent, is it patenting the machine or what, what will you be patenting? We'll, we'll be patenting the circular model and um and the, the way we form uh the, the the plastic material so up to now every company was using a process called injection molding right we'll be using thermoforming and uh, this will be our main main process so at the moment we'll we'll be probably be the first one to do it like that interesting thank you Big applause. Thank you. So do not forget to vote for your